Welcome to Inside Science TV. Songbirds and humans have something in common, the ability to mimic sounds. Scientists at UCLA say this link between human speech and birdsong may hold valuable insights into human speech disorders. The way that birds learn their songs is very similar to the way that humans learn to speak. So in both cases, learning happens really well early in development. While language is unique to humans, songbirds share our ability to create new sounds. They learn it using similar parts of the brain. Um, they have similar genes that are involved, and one of the genes that we are studying is called FOXP2. FOXP2 appears to be a master gene that directs many other genes in the brain to turn on and off. The UCLA team discovered that some 2,000 genes in the region of the male zebra finch's brain, known as Area X, become activated when the birds begin to sing. When our birds sing, it is actively regulated, not just in any part of the brain, not the part of the brain that has to do with flying or nest building, but in the brain that has parts that are dedicated to the song. Another gene, relin, which is suspected of causing human susceptibility to autism, is also likely to be important in birds. Bird song. Researchers believe Fox P2 and Relin may play a critical role in birds learning to sing, as well as in human speech and speech disorders. Gaining neurological insights from our feathered friends. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.